short-term memory can hold information anywhere between 15 to 30 seconds. They're talking about our short-term memory can keep, can store, you know, can hold information between 15 to 30 seconds. According to Miller's magical number 7, 1956, short-term memory has a limited capacity dash to store 5 to 9 items simultaneously. Here, according to or based on, you know, the magical number 7, it can be the name of the book or theory. They said that short-term memory has a limited capacity. Limited means restricted. Restrict, you know, our capacity is limit. And dash to store only 5 to 9 items simultaneously mean at the same time. So here you got being able, is able, unable, and be able. To be able mean can or, you know, uh, we can do something, to be able to do something. So here, I will move it to here, limited capacity and is able to store 5 to 9 items, blah blah blah. And here, present, parti present participle can replace conjunction and. And then, is is turning to be being present participle, able is always able, it doesn't change. So then, you, did you see that we have being able here? So this is the answer of your first blank. If you still don't understand what is it, present participle, I will make another video explaining in more detail about present participle in future. Now let's move on to the second one. So dash and then we got the comma here i think we have to go with adverb maybe dash if we hear concepts or ideas repeatedly in an audio form we can acoustically encode the information so they said that if we hear concepts or ideas or any information repeatedly again and again in an audio you know the sound form we can acoustically Acoustically means in a way that related to sound. We can encode the sound, you know, we can encode the information in our memory. Did you notice that here they said about limited capacity, something that got the limit. But here they said that, but we can do something further, we can, we can do something more. If we repeat, you know, if we listen it repeatedly, you see here is like negative, but here you got positive thing. So I think we all agree that we have to go with however, this one. So the answer is however, if we hear concepts or ideas repeatedly, we can encode the information, we can mem memorize the information. However shows the contrast, what is going to come is not what we expected. You know, so here we have negative, but the but after however, it's something positive or opposite. I think you know what does it mean somewhere. Moreover, moreover is like in addition. Moreover, we we use moreover to add extra information or it's continue from the previous sentence. However, is the answer of this blank. So it's like therefore, we used to give a conclusion, logical result from previous sentences is like therefore. And then it is a process referred to as rehearsal, thereby it to our long term memories. They say that when we hear uh, the concepts or information repeatedly, it referred or it considered to as rehearsal, you know. And then you got comma here, and then you got thereby, adverb thereby. Thereby doing something to our long-term memories. And let's have a look here. You got four different, um, you got four different forms of the verb commit, commit, committing, committed, and commits with s. The rule is that after thereby we have to go with committing verb ing. 
used thereby to introduce the result of the action or situation mentioned. Thereby is, thereby is like by that means or as a result of that. For example, regular exercise strengthens the heart, thereby reducing the risk of heart attack. So, if you exercise regularly, it's gonna strengthen your heart, and as a result of that, it can reduce the risk of heart attack. So here, when you see adverb thereby, you have to go with the verb ending with ing. In this blank, we have to go with committing. Now I'm going to recap the answer for you one more time. The first one, limited capacity, present participle, being able to store five to nine items simultaneously or at the same time. And the second one, we have to go with however, because it's the contrast, you know, however used to introduce the contrast, something that is opposite. Here, limited capacity, but here they say that we can do something, we can encode the information. So we have to go with however. And the last one we have to go with, thereby committing it to our long-term memories. Commit something to our long-term memories is very good collocation. It means that you learn something and then you keep it in your head, in your brain or in your memory in a way that you wouldn't forget or you're gonna remember that information for a long period of time. So this is very good vocabulary. Commit something to our long-term memories. Thank you so much again for watching this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment down below here. Or if you want me to, if you want me to make video about any other task for your PTE preparation, you can also comment down below here. Help yourself, and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye bye.